Hello and welcome to the Friday, December 1st, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Apple today released updates for iOS, iPadOS and macOS. These updates fix two already exploited vulnerabilities. Both of these vulnerabilities affect WebKit. The first one we rated moderate is a sensitive information disclosure vulnerability. Apple only provides these one sentence summaries, so not really clear what's being disclosed here. Sometimes it could be sort of information that helps in additional exploitation, or it could be disclosure of browser history or things like that. The second vulnerability, that's the one we rated critical, again, also in a WebKit, and uh, it can lead to arbitrary code exploit execution if you are visiting a malicious web page. Apple provided these updates only for the latest versions of iOS, that's 17, and for macOS, that's 14, or Sonoma. But note that the notes also state that they have seen this being exploited in the wild against iOS before 16.7.1. The current version of iOS released uh, late in October is iOS 16.7.2. So that version hasn't been exploited yet, but it could be that it's also vulnerable. We don't really know. Like I said, the patch only applies to iOS 17 at this point. In the past, we often have seen Apple later in within a couple days or a week or so release updates for older versions of the operating system. For macOS, this typically also involves an update for Safari as these are WebKit vulnerabilities. So if you're running this older version of iOS, macOS, watch out for additional updates, uh, but it's of course always possible that uh, they are no longer affected. And while other companies may blame interns for leaving weak passwords in GitHub repositories and cause breaches, our interns are out there fighting the good fight. And John, our handler today, found an interesting sort of gem in a recent diary from one of our undergraduates, Jonah Latimer, who did write about sort of some of the latest developments of Mirai. And uh, well, John now... So- followed up on that and how uh, the particular vulnerability being discussed there was actually, well, really used more and more following that particular new variant of Mirai spreading. And then we got a couple of vulnerabilities to talk about. Nothing uh, super critical here, but probably things you want to know about before the weekend if you're running any affected devices. Uh, first of all, probably the most important one here, Psychcell's network accessible storage device. There are a couple of vulnerabilities, six actually, that have been patched. Three of these vulnerabilities have a CVSS score of 9.8. Then we have two with 8.8 and one with 7.5. The 9.8 vulnerabilities pretty much all have in common that they are unauthenticated remote code execution vulnerabilities that are being exploited via the exposed web admin interface. No matter what vendor's network attached storage system you are using, do not expose them to the internet, in particular, not any kind of web admin interface. Maybe an SSH server if you lock it down, maybe something like a VPN, which some of them include, but that should certainly be it. And we do have a new release for Solar Winds. Uh, the uh, platform version is now 2023.4.2. There is one SQL injection vulnerability, CVE 2023, for Sarasara 5.6. That's rated as high. That's it pretty much for uh, this particular vulnerability. Probably not urgent to patch, but SQL injection vulnerabilities. We have uh, seen uh, quite a bit of exploitation in software like this uh, if you, again, expose it to the internet. And a quick update to the Internet Storm Center website. Our DNS looking class feature should be working again. Hasn't been working for a while now due to a stupid bug I introduced with uh, some 
prior update as usual. But anyway, this feature allows you to do a DNS lookup on a host name on a geographically diverse set of name servers. So you can see if uh, certain countries or so or certain areas of the globe are playing games with DNS. Of course, sometimes that's also just sort of geographic load balancing. Well, and this is it for today. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling your friends about this podcast, for subscribing, for telling your favorite sans salesperson about this podcast. And talk to you again on Monday. Bye.